Long chain polymers don't have a melting point. They just get softer and softer until it's a viscous liquid. This is called its glass transition temperature. Surprisingly, wood has a glass transition point as well, specifically the lignin in the wood. So it's actually possible to melt wood. And because of that, you can even weld wood. In order to create the heat for the weld, I'm going to turn a cylinder of oak wood inside a hole that's a tiny bit smaller than the cylinder in another piece of oak wood. Okay, so I'm just gonna drill a hole right in here. Now I'm just gonna turn it at full speed and apply a lot of pressure. So it's heating up. Now after I stop turning it, I have to hold it in place for a bit with that pressure still on it to wait for the melted wood to solidify and harden again. If it doesn't stick, you'll know right away it'll just come loose and pop out. Oh my gosh. But now this is solid. I can even reverse my drill and try to unscrew it. This is solid now. If I try to turn it again, it just breaks the dowel. It's actually welded together inside of this hole. I can't get it out. This is so strong. I can't do anything to pull it out. It's literally like I put a wood glue in here that's holding it together. So when I do a cross section of it, you can see it is actually bonded to the wood in there. It's still not falling out, even though I've released the pressure from around it. So it's acting like it's an adhesive. Now this really is welded together. In fact, wood welding has been around almost 20 years. Wood welding was discovered by mistake actually at a material science lab called the Swiss School. They'd been using a machine to glue a piece of wood together by sticking a piece of plastic in between the two pieces of wood. And when they vibrate it and push them together really hard, the friction melts the plastic and join the two pieces of wood together. But one day by mistake, a technician forgot to add the plastic in between the two pieces of wood. And to their surprise, they found that the two pieces of wood were still bonded together really well. They analyzed the wood at a molecular level and found that the wood had actually melted and bonded together. They were awarded the Schweigafer, 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 they were awarded a prize for their discovery. 